We pray. Amen. What a year it has been for GCU basketball. Welcome to Center Court with the Lopes presented by Talking Stick Resort. Barry Butel alongside the head coach of GCU men's basketball, Bryce Drew. And coach, man, we've uh, talked throughout the course of the, the season. It, it is now over. Can you talk about uh, and, and kind of encapsulate the roller coaster ride uh, that it was for you in your first year? Wow, where do we start, Barry? Virtual uh, meetings. Oh, man, yeah, virtual meetings, virtual recruiting. Uh, meeting the players on Zoom for the yeah. first time instead of in person. Um, what is it, close to 2,000 uh, COVID tests possibly, you know, throughout the year. Uh, but, but, but you said a, a lot of just awesome moments this year within our program. And, uh, and the biggest takeaway, I think, is just the family of GCU and the family environment, you know, of this campus. And I think we really felt that all throughout the season, uh, you know, during this year. All for each other, and it seemed like the team was laser focused in those games in Las Vegas and that championship game. I mean, it looked like a team that it was on a mission. Uh, they definitely were. You know, we had had four seniors, you know, that were starting, and those were the most focused we had seen them all year. They knew the magnitude of the games, but also a lot of credit goes to them for the work they put in throughout the season. Because if you get to a point where you're, you know, your optimal focus point but you haven't put the work in, it's not going to turn out that well. And these guys, you know, they put in two a days, you know, they came back and got shots up in the evening. Um, they put a lot of work in to get to that point. So I think as a, as a, as a coaching staff, we are just extremely, um, you, know, you know, proud. And we're also excited to be able to see them see all of their hard work, you know, pay off. And, and, and it's more the life lesson of, hey, when you put a lot of time in, you care, you work together, you work really hard, you do things the right way, you know, good things can come from it and it feels really good, you know, when good things come from that. The, uh, the bubble, going to Indianapolis, the team, um, the staff, how did you approach that first game against Iowa and Luca Garza? It was definitely a different NCAA tournament, you know, going to the bubble, but it was actually, you know, a, a different feeling that you could focus in a different way because you didn't have all the outside distractions. And, you know, it was a tough matchup going in. We knew it was going to be, you know, nobody stopped Garza in four years. You know, he's the National Player of the Year this year by basically everybody for a reason. And Barry, he's really, really good. I saw that. And, and he makes one three a game. And we've done, we looked at all his stats. And so it was kind of pick your poison. Do you want to try to contest his threes or have him go inside? And we were like, okay, we'd rather him shoot contested threes. You know, maybe he'll make two or three. Because if he makes four or five, then hey, we got to say, hey, good job. You guys are playing great today. And that's what he did. He came out, hit four out of five threes. And, you know, really, really proud of our guys because even though we started out, you know, behind, we fought back and we made some runs at them. But credit them for making shot after shot uh, to be able to keep that lead. Then three days after the, uh, the, the game was played, obviously the tragedy with Oscar Freyer and losing Oscar. Um, but it was great at the Lopi Awards to, to have the Oscar Freyer Spirit Award. Uh, and his legacy will continue here forever. You know, it'll continue. I think when you look to, at GCU and you look what the school stands for with the, the faith, and again, they want to see, you know, lives change when they're at GCU. And I think that's what was most fulfilling for, you know, our program and everyone on, on the inside of our program is we saw, you know, Oscar just grow and grow and, you know, and, and his life, you know, changed throughout his senior year and really get on the trajectory that, that we all knew that he was going to, you know, get on. And he, he, he left a graduate, you know, a champion, um, you know, uh, rededicated his life to the Lord um, by the Christian faith that, you know, is up in heaven. And so, so many things happened, you know, in that last, uh, you know, month for him that all of us saw that. And, and it, even though um, there'll still be moments where we'll get extremely down, um, we, we see those high moments and everything he achieved and, and kind of the, the story of what GCU represents is all embodied in Oscar Freyer. Well, you know, Oscar uh, will be watching this team now. Um, he wants this team to, to uh, propel themselves and continue to go to tournaments in this future. And he set the foundation with the others. Can you talk a little bit about your incoming class and, and what next year's team might look like? 
really excited, you know, with, with the four seniors uh, leaving. Like you said, they've laid a great foundation for, you know, the next class to come in. And, you know, we're bringing in qu quite a few new players. You know, um, a couple, Tayshawn Cherry from Arizona State um, will be a great addition. You know, gives us some outside shooting and some versatility on defense. Um, Aiden uh, Egeon from Louisville's uh, 6'10", one of the most athletic forwards in the country. And we're really looking forward to, you know, getting him, you know, integrated into our offense and our team this summer. And then we have some freshmen coming in that I think our fans will really like. Um, uh, just dynamic players, um, very skilled, and, um, and come from some great uh, heritage with their family lines in, uh, in the sports world. Coming up, he left his impact on the GCU community both on and off the court. We honor the legacy of Oscar Freyer. It's time to get away. It's time to escape. It's a new day to play. Your retreat awaits at Talking Stick Resort. Indulge your appetite for excitement with our thrilling table games, our electrifying slots, our outstanding restaurants, and our exceptional accommodations. It's all waiting for you. It's a new day to play at Talking Stick Resort. Play in style. When the going got tough, many people bunkered down. Dealerships turned to mundane sales online with impersonal deliveries. Not Sanderson Ford. We chose to work even harder and provide more personalized service and value in our showroom. Or you can shop from home, buy from home, and we'll deliver. We've been delivering vehicles to our customers for over 65 years. Call Luis Gonzalez. Hey David, I'm just pulling in with your new truck. Wow, I'm blown away. Thanks for the personalized service. I'm personal injury attorney James Bergener. Accidents can happen. If something happens to you or your family, call me. My firm and I will take you by the hand and guide you through everything. You see, personal injuries are just that. They're personal. You're not a number. You're more than just a name. This is your life. At my firm, each case is professionally and personally tailored to you. So if you've been injured, I've got your back. Call me now for a free consultation. This first degree is awarded posthumously for the high flyer, Oscar Freyer, presented to his mother, Bianca, and nephew and future Lope, E.J. Harris. Oh, baby, I don't know, baby. <laughs> Yeah. 
When life seems uncertain, there's one credit union that provides both dollars and cents. Copper State Credit Union. With solutions that focus on our members, you can take advantage of competitive rates, free cash back checking, and local attentive service. Uplifting our community is a standard we live by. That's why thousands of your Arizona neighbors rely on us. Strengthening Arizona families through financial empowerment. That's Copper State Credit Union. It's time to get away. It's time to escape. It's a new day to play. Your retreat awaits at Talking Stick Resort. Indulge your appetite for excitement with our thrilling table games, our electrifying slots, our outstanding restaurants, and our exceptional accommodations. It's all waiting for you. It's a new day to play at Talking Stick Resort. Play in style. As a kid, I always dreamed of being a Division I athlete. GCU supported that dream, and they also allowed me to get an education. So when I came to GCU, I was able to transfer enough credits in to fast track my education. So I graduated in three years with a master's, and I did it debt-free because I had athletic and academic scholarships. I'm Mackenzie, and I earned my MBA from Grand Canyon University. There's a thunder in all of us. Come find your purpose at Grand Canyon University. Center Court with the Lopes is presented by Talking Stick Resort, play in style, and also brought to you by Cox Business. Welcome back to Center Court with the Lopes, presented by Talking Stick Resort. Barry Butel alongside the head coach of the GCU women's basketball team, Molly Miller. And Molly, here we are in April. When you look back at uh, your first season as head coach, it's uh, wow, it's been a, you buckled up, right? It was a roller coaster ride. And, and when you first started, it was all about the computer and those virtual meetings that you had with the team. Yeah, it went by surprisingly fast, like in a blink of an eye. Here we are in April and the whole season's gone by. We were just talking uh, with my family and my husband the other day. Can you believe we've been here for a year? So it's exciting um, to know kind of the momentum we have going into next year. Um, just from the standpoint of now the system's kind of been introduced. And I do think it takes a while, especially defensively, the system to click, to teach it, to learn it. So now that we have some of that momentum, I think just carrying that over to the next year is going to be really fun. Can you talk a little bit about what next year's team is going to look like and maybe some of that incoming class? Yeah, well, I can finally speak on our recruits. They've signed on the dotted line and they're considered ours. So um, a large freshman class, you know, it's something with the extra COVID year that's interesting because we didn't have any true seniors on the team. So as everyone else gets older, all the teams have that fifth COVID year yeah. experience, we're kind of getting younger. Um, so it's exciting because there's gonna be that youthful energy, but also we're gonna be playing really experienced college basketball players. So um, we've drawn a few from the Midwest that I just kind of knew about coming in from my roots back in the Midwest. Um, have, a, have a great combo guards. Um, Jemiah is kind of a, a fierce, fiery, ferocious, um, not very tall in stature, but she makes up with, with her grit. She'll fit great in the defensive system. Um, Kylie is another point guard for us at about 5'10 that has some length. Great basketball IQ. Um, super savvy when it comes to just finding the open man. Um, so I think she'll be great. We've got a, a knock down drag out shooter in Nadia. Uh, you better guard her when she gets off the bus, uh, when she gets in the gym, because she's got some range. So I think that'll stretch the defense for us and it'll be really nice. Um, and then McKenna uh, from Kansas City is also just kind of a lengthy utility player. She could guard one through five if she had to. Super athletic. Um, she can play a guard, but I also think she can you know, guard someone on the post and have some success with her length in our system. And then a local kid, Cassidy, um, who's just coming off another state championship. And she is going to be um, just 
do whatever we need her to do. She is strong, she is athletic, kind of another system kid. So those incoming freshmen, it'll be really fun to kind of blend them into the returners and see what we get on the floor. I, I, overall, as a class, they're tough, they're tenacious, they're feisty, they love the game. So that passion is really gonna shine through in our system. Yeah, it sounds familiar. Somewhat uh, <laughs> characteristic of fiery, ferocious, uh, uh, in your face, a little bit like their head coach. Transfer portal's been really busy, uh, lots of names. Um, obviously, uh, that's an ongoing process for you and your team. And uh, as we tape this show, maybe um, there might be some, some names in there that you might be interested in. Can you talk about that process a little bit? Yeah, well, we have signed um, three from the transfer portal. Dom is a local kid also, and you know she was the reigning 2019-20 Arizona Gatorade Player of the Year. Um, talk about a competitor, can do a little bit of everything, rebound, um, really tough on the boards, a uh, good player. We can use her inside a lot, um, but she could also stretch the floor. And then Amara Graham, um, the guard from UTRGV, who actually led the conference in scoring this Didn't year. Didn't that, yeah. <laughs> so not a bad um, addition to the team. She can shoot lights out. She can score in the paint. She can take you off the dribble. I'm excited to get a player like that in our defensive system because I think there's some untapped potential there defensively that we can even elevate her game to the next level. Coming up, Grand Canyon student athletes share about their faith and the impact it's had on them. It's time to get away. It's time to escape. It's a new day to play. Your retreat awaits at Talking Stick Resort. Indulge your appetite for excitement with our thrilling table games, our electrifying slots, our outstanding restaurants, and our exceptional accommodations. It's all waiting for you. It's a new day to play at Talking Stick Resort. Play in style. From reimagining the way you work to reassessing what you need, you've changed the way you do business. And now, so have we. With no annual contracts and flexible internet and voice solutions, you'll have what you need to get back to business. Rethink, reconnect, reimagine. Switch to Cox Business today. I'm personal injury attorney James Bergener. Accidents can happen. If something happens to you or your family, call me. My firm and I will take you by the hand and guide you through everything. You see, personal injuries are just that. They're personal. You're not a number. You're more than just a name. This is your life. At my firm, each case is professionally and personally tailored to you. So if you've been injured, I've got your back. Call me now for a free consultation. Faith is the number one thing that's important to me. Like no matter what happens in here, it's like all the glory goes to God. I gave my life to Christ my sophomore year. Your value and your identity is so much more than just your outcome on the court or on the track. Before I came to GCU, uh, I claimed I was a Christian, but I truly didn't understand like what it meant to have a relationship with Christ. So after coming here, uh, you know, some people from um, you know, GC, like, they reached out to me, like, hey, come to church, all this stuff. And I was like, yeah, sure, like, I'll definitely do that. And I went there, and, like, you know, that, that community that I, I was introduced to, it was like, hey, like, find that deeper meaning of Christ. I went through a grueling injury last year with the um, ACL tear, and just being able to come back, and this being my first year playing again, faith was a big aspect of my mental health. Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans that I have for you, declared the Lord, pl plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope in the future. Um, that one really stood out to me, especially during my rehab process. Um, just being able to trust God and trust the process and take it one day at a time. We were playing Oklahoma and <laughs> me and my teammate had decided that that was gonna be the day that we got baptized and we were gonna do it with our entire team. We all went out to the Grove Pool after the game and we gave our little testimony and our chaplain dunked us. And it was amazing coming out of the water 
seeing that my whole team was right there. That was so much fun. They actually all jumped in the water afterwards because <laughs> they were so excited for us. And then we actually had Oklahoma have a few girls that wanted to get baptized after that. So it was really cool to see how God worked not only in our team, but worked through us to reach Oklahoma as well. Um, it had kind of always been on my heart to, to start a Bible study with the baseball team. You know, each week it's, we get to see new faces from the team and it's just been a really cool experience to try to just, you know, share the gospel and, and talk about who this Jesus guy is. And we actually had one guy on our team commit his life to Jesus. It's just been a really cool environment where sharing the word is, is acceptable and it's not something that we have to shy away from. Honestly, throughout like my whole life, I feel like God has opened a lot of doors and seeing those doors and taking them is something that like, obviously God put you there for a specific reason and he opened that door for you for a specific reason. And those are opportunities. Um, leaving Iowa was one of the scariest things I've ever had to do. The opportunity I had to go to GCU and like going through that open door, um, taking the open door, taking my fifth year, um, just like taking those opportunities is something that's been good, really good for me. Coming up, we go around GCU Athletics with some recent celebrations. Lopes Insider Paul Coro joins the show. It's time to get away. It's time to escape. It's a new day to play. Your retreat awaits at Talking Stick Resort. Indulge your appetite for excitement with our thrilling table games, our electrifying slots, our outstanding restaurants, and our exceptional accommodations. It's all waiting for you. It's a new day to play at Talking Stick Resort. Play in style. Joel Embiid is unhappy. Like, really unhappy. Because the internet keeps using not-so-amazing GIFs to react to his amazing highlights. Mountain Dew presents the Joel Embiid Deserves Better Reactions GIF Collection. Now I'm so happy. <sighs> From reimagining the way you work to reassessing what you need, you've changed the way you do business. And now, so have we. With no annual contracts and flexible internet and voice solutions, you'll have what you need to get back to business. Rethink, reconnect, reimagine. Switch to Cox Business today. It's time to get away. It's time to escape. It's a new day to play. Your retreat awaits at Talking Stick Resort. Indulge your appetite for excitement with our thrilling table games, our electrifying slots, our outstanding restaurants, and our exceptional accommodations. It's all waiting for you. It's a new day to play at Talking Stick Resort. Play in style. It's time for the Talking Stick Resort Play of the Week. Play in style. Two, two. Shot to right field. Gonna be trouble. Home run. Lopes win it. A shot to right field. And this game is over. How about we ease the stress a little bit for one team on the edge of its seat right now. Take a breath. Grand Canyon. Yeah. Let's take a look at the upcoming schedule for GCU Athletics brought to you by Cox Business. Men's soccer is taking their game to the national stage as they make their second NCAA tournament appearance on May 2nd against the University of Washington. On campus, softball closes out its regular season with a three-game set against Seattle University on May 7th and 8th. That same weekend, the baseball team hosts Dixie State for a four-game series, so come on down to the campus for a game or... If you can't make it, a reminder, you can live stream GCU Athletics home games on the Lope Nation app or the GCU YouTube channel. 
Welcome back to Center Court with the Lopes, Barry Butel, alongside Lopes insider Paul Coro. And baseball is underway, Paul. We begin to talk about that. A huge walk-off home run with the against the University of Arizona as the Lopes are on a roll. Yeah, that was quite the scene. That was a lot of fun that night. First time a lot of fans but were back in GCU ballpark too. But it's really emblematic of the way they've kind of flipped their season. You know, they had some really close games with uh, top programs in the nation early on and starting to pay off. The pitching's on an absolute roll. They showed how deep they are there, well into the bullpen too. But Pearson Oles really leading that. Through, Unreal. Uh, complete games just every Saturday. And then you got a lot of young guys who have stepped up in the lineup to give them hits. Let's revisit the uh, men's and women's basketball programs uh, and what a season it was, uh, a roller coaster ride with, with COVID and how these teams persevered. The men going to their first ever NCAA tournament and the women to their first ever WAC championship. Yeah, Molly Miller in her first year really put the stamp on the program and they reached the championship game of the WAC tournament for the first time. Uh, you can see their brand of basketball. It's, you know, they rev it up. Number two steals in the nation uh, with the way they play and, you know, all that's starting to carry over into some of the things they've done in the offseason to build for next year. And the men obviously get into the tournament, drew a loud national acclaim. They got hot at the right time at the end of the year. Uh, took that through the WAC tournament. Uh, you know, always fun to beat, sweep New Mexico State like they did you know, with three games and uh, really dominate them in the tournament championship. And then uh, the, the game in Iowa is a good experience for all those guys. And it showed, you know, some things like the way they developed a player like Asbjorn Mitgard and to be in the national field goal percentage leader, but also uh, who's coming along like Javon Blackshear being a WAC tournament MVP. The uh, transfer portal, the names, over a thousand in there for, the, for men's basketball. It, it's been a crazy few months uh, here as we approach and it will continue to approach next season. Yeah, amazing what they've been able to do. Uh, you know, you've got to give credit to the staff because that's so much to handle to go through and everything they've had to deal with outside of outside of basketball too at the same time and uh, to land what they've had as far as talent, go into some power five type guys, some guys that were uh, put a local brand again on this program to immediately uh, build off of an NCAA tournament bid and then try to carry that forward into something more in the future. Well, as we wrap things up, a big thank you to Al Porteous, Jake Jackson, Scott McDonald, and Josh Hauser. For Paul Coro, head coach Molly Miller, and head coach Bryce Drew, I'm Barry Vitale. Thanks so much for tuning into Center Court with the Lopes.